in the heart of the Himalayas, where the thin air whispers ancient secrets and the rugged peaks stand tall, my wife Jane and I embarked on a journey seeking solace amidst the chaos of the modern world. Thousands of miles away from our home in California, our pilgrimage was not merely a physical one. It was a quest for spiritual enlightenment, a search for meaning in a world fraught with uncertainty. The journey was not easy. Each step a testament to our determination and resolve. We trekked through dense forests, crossed rushing rivers and ascended steep cliffs, our spirits afloat by the promise of discovery that lay ahead. It was on the fourth day of our journey that we stumbled upon a cave, an unassuming fissure hidden amidst the rocky landscape, its entrance obscured by tangled vines and thick foliage. Intrigued by its mysterious allure, we ventured inside, our footsteps echoing in the darkness. As we delved deeper in the cave steps, the air grew heavy with the scent of earth and dampness. The dim light of our torch flickered and danced against the uneven walls, casting eerie shadows that seemed to come alive with each passing moment. It was then that we first encountered that being, an entity whose very presence seemed to warp the fabric of reality itself. Its form was alien, yet strangely familiar. Its features a grotesque amalgamation of shapes and colors that defied description. At first, we stood frozen in awe and disbelief, unable to turn our gaze away from the creature before us. It looked at us with an otherworldly curiosity, its eyes gleaming with a wisdom far beyond our own. As it approached, I felt a chill run down my spine, a primal instinct warning me of the danger that lurked beneath the surface. But Jane, ever the optimist, reached out a trembling hand, her voice barely above a whisper as she spoke. The creature responded in kind, its voice a melodic symphony that reverberated through the cave like the tolling of a distant bell. Though I could not understand the words it spoke, there was an unmistakable sense of urgency in its tone, a silent plea for understanding perhaps or a warning of things to come. But as the moments stretched into eternity, I began to sense a shift in the creature's demeanor, a subtle undercurrent of malice that sent a shiver down my spine. Jane, oblivious to the danger, leaned in closer, her eyes filled with curiosity. And then, without warning, the creature struck. A sudden burst of energy that engulfed Jane in a blinding cascade of light. I cried out in horror as her form wavered and twisted, morphing into a grotesque parody of itself before fading into nothingness. In the chaos that followed, I was consumed by a flood of emotions, grief, anger and a bone-deep sense of betrayal. The creature, its task complete, regarded me with an inscrutable gaze before vanishing into the shadows leaving me alone in the darkness. For days, I wandered through the wilderness, haunted by the memory of that fateful encounter. Every shadow seemed to conceal the creature's malevolent presence, and every sound sent a shiver down my spine. Eventually, I found refuge in the ruins of an ancient temple, where I was guided by a wise old sage who sensed the darkness that clung to my soul. It almost felt like the sage was sent there for me, Together, we delved into the mysteries of the cosmos, seeking answers hidden within the tapestry of time itself. It was here that I found what I believe to be enlightenment. Armed with newfound knowledge and a steely resolve, I set out to confront the creature once more, determined to stop it from harming any more souls. In a showdown that spanned the boundaries of reality, amidst swirling vortexes of energy and primal chaos, I faced the creature with a courage born out of my newfound resolve. With every ounce of strength and willpower, I fought against the darkness that threatened to consume us all, until finally, with a blinding flash of light, the creature was vanquished. Though the scars of that ordeal may never fully heal, I take solace in the knowledge that Jane's spirit lives on, a beacon of hope in a world shrouded in shadows, and as I stand, Amidst the vastness of the Himalayas, I was reminded of the fragility of life and the resilience of the human spirit 
in the face of the unknown.